Yo, what's up? We are continuing our day of bad game modes with train mode. Yes. It's time to actually play it. <laughs> Especially for all the new players so you can see the horrors of this game mode. How does it work? Very simple. You have this Berlin outskirts area. And there's a train station in the center. And there are train tracks and we have this train. And the attackers have to jump on the train, and as long as the attackers have more soldiers on the train than defenders have, the train is moving forward. And you want to push a train from one end to the other. You have the central point. Once you reach the central point, it's the red dot in the center of the top screen. You will get around two to 300 tickets. Not that much, but still a little bit. And this is all the ammunition you have to win this game. As a defender, you just want to grind the enemies down by stopping the train and then just killing all the attackers. So this is the theory. What's good about this game mode, but there are many things that are bad, so let's start with the good ones. First of all, it it's played on one of the most beautiful maps in the game, the Verbi Station map. Which is also a shame because this map could be used for much better things than this nonsense. And it rains quite often, so it looks really cool. And it fits the the atmosphere of the last weeks of the war very nicely. But, here are the downsides. First of all, the distances are quite huge and you have to run a lot. Now usually if you don't want to run a lot like a monkey, you can just build rally points close to the action and you won't have to run that much and you actually have enjoyable games. Not in train mode though, because the map doesn't let you build proper rally points. Oh, a Soviet tank? Let's get... That's a surprise. The... <laughs> yeah, we could actually build a rally point now, hiding behind the tank, but... The game has a very vast zone of around 90 meters on most areas, and it doesn't even show you where, so you have to manually search for it. To, as a minimum distance to the train to build rallies. And they will be out in the open most of the time, so very easy to destroy. And if the train moves even one meter, the your rally point can automatically blow up. And this is why basically no one who knows the, the, the game builds rallies in this game mode, because they literally die automatically because the, the game mode is designed completely retarded. This is the first problem. The second problem is... Everything is bottlenecked on the train. So you get constant artillery striking, constant bombing, constant tank shelling and other types of spam and you can't really do well much in terms of thinking. <laughs> Unlike Conquest where it's all about super super spurgy thinking, here it's literally just bum rushing the point and hoping the defenders don't know how to defend, because this game mode is extremely defender biased. You see, we um, we started with a slight advantage, because the, the attackers start already on the train, basically. So this is good, or very close to the train. But then the defenders can build up an easy defense, and they do that by just driving a bunch of APCs, or, well, building a, building a rally point that won't be blown up, because if you're a defender, you just build a rally that's viable and then you hold the point and since the train isn't moving the grey zone won't move and your rally will stay forever. But if you're an attacker, as long as you keep pushing forward your rally points are gonna die. So you have a complete disadvantage. Yeah, but so how do we... so defending is very easy. You just establish a bunch of rallies and you're gonna have an automatic adva strong advantage by the game rules themselves. Also, the train always stops once you reach 50-50, so you can just... and it needs some time to accelerate. So constantly contesting the train, even if the enemies capture it like dozens of times, still makes it very slow. Yeah, so defending is very easy, that's why you want to play attackers on this map. Oh, and the air gun. And you play attackers by... Figuring out what is your what are your teammates doing because this is usually what you need to manage first the stupidity of your teammates Are my teammates playing vehicles or are they bum rushing the train if they're bum rushing the train and hopefully remotely successful 
that's fine, because then, as you can see, you just can take a tiger, just a good tank or plane, and constantly bomb the area. If they're not doing that, you're in big trouble, because then you have to do all of the work yourself. So this is exactly what we're going to do now. First of all, we want to see, can we actually somehow, hopefully, establish a rally? And you see, yeah, but basically it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, we have this rally. It will at least help us get the train from that point to the, to the next one. And since our rally will be destroyed automatically soon, we need to somehow keep up the pressure and the momentum. So once you cap a train, you want to not to trade with your enemies, because you can't afford losing lives. You want to survive and be as passive as possible. This is the secret. You want to really be as passive as possible as an attacker, because you can't get the, the spawn advantage. And you want to flank constantly as an attacker. The artillery strikes are quite hard to estimate where, it's literally just where you ex randomly expect enemies. I recommend behind the central point that the map shows you. That's the easy way. Okay, we have the point now. Uh, we have the train now. Ah, oh, we're getting the train now. Okay. Well, you see, I really have to play my strongest army. Or at least the army I... I'm focused most about, where I know every single squad. And my Soviet army, as I shown in the Conquest game, I, uh, you see, my really got fucked. We moved the train a little bit, and the Grey Zone fucked it up. Most likely, I don't think it got destroyed. So yeah, that's that's you see, that's that's the retardation of train mode. That's why it's retarded. It's designed completely in a retarded way. And I completely lost all respect for people designing game modes and enlisted because this is the product of utter retardation. <laughs> And it can be fixed so easily by just changing the fucking game, uh, the, the gray zone effect on rally points on this map. But nope. Uh, Alright. Yeah. APC is very important. Otherwise, we, yeah. It, you see the distance of spawning you get when you die. Now, how do we overcome the strong defenses? Well, the enemies. Huh, they, I try to flank from the left. The flank was quite good, but eventually they had too many defenders, and we got destroyed. So, we need to hope the enemies are armed, that's... Oh, you motherfucker. Yep, literally killed by a BR1 weapon. Yeah, that's the... Oh, yeah, that's the... That's the train mod life. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's how bad it is. As I said, establishing rallies is hard. APC is also hard since there are tanks driving around and random anti-tank rivals are gonna one-shot you. PTRS, by the way, one of the best anti-tank rivals in the game, so I'm not even surprised it one-shot us. Okay, the big, the big problem here is also obviously getting close to the, to the train, because the train left and right of the train has huge open areas, so sniper rifles are very beneficial. Or anything with a scope. So, in order to approach safely, oh my fucking god, I guess he's behind us, yeah, in order to approach safely, having, as I usually recommend, you, you really want two snipers in your army, like two squads of one sniper soldier, if you don't like snipers that much, also you can jump into these anti-tank guns and anti-air guns on the tank, but if the enemies are smart, they were gonna kill you, <laughs> yeah. You want snipers to, to get the advantage to see where the enemies are, since you have the vast open fields, so scopes are great, and then just safely approach the point. Once you're in the point, you can either be on top of the train, or on the end side of the train, which is flat, or in the inside of the train's belly, basically. Inside of the train's belly is the safest area overall, you're the hardest to kill there. Only downside it gives you is you're not able to, to, to defend this frontal part of the train. So I what you want to do is you just want to click your you want to click X so your squad stays inside and then you just take out one soldier to run around and check the situation and make sure no enemy gets too close. Alright, and you see this is bad. The train stopped, we lost momentum. And we're, while the train is not moving, and while we have to re it, we're losing lives non-stop. Yeah, you see, this is the grind down that you want to avoid as an attacker. 
Okay, mister. Can you save us? I see too many bullets to be safe. Yep, and mid and long range weapons are also king here. SMGs aren't that strong, machine guns much better. Since you can actually spray down groups of enemies on the sides. And assault rifles obviously too, since they are almost like machine guns here. Oh, ah, and another advantage defenders have. As an attacker you can't really establish good machine gun nests and stuff like that. As a defender on the other hand you can and this is exactly what they did. Okay, now we are in a desperate situation so I'm gonna use a desperate strategy. Since I knew from the beginning my team is quite bum rushy, we can rely on that. And I'm just gonna try to destroy all the enemies besides uh, behind the point. And with some luck, our team will just do the capping. Yes, yeah, our team is pushing forward, so let's just kill all the Soviets here. Okay. Always practice bomb retention, so you have some bombs left on the other. Also, there's not much to blow up here, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Bomb retention and rocket retention is extremely good on train map because yeah like if someone's on the small area around the train they're gonna die from the few bombs you're dropping. And then you just want to give the enemy time to, to, to return and then you want to bomb again. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh nice. We got like 9 kills. One tank among them. That's good. Uh, it could be better but for train it's really good now we should have to tr yeah we should control the train I if my team attacks <laughs> fuck yeah well <laughs> nice the big advantage of a of a tank is that it has the highest firepower but it's also very problematic to actually get impact in train mode because if you're on the wrong side, you literally can't get on the other side. It will take you 2-3 minutes and you will die most likely. So planes are, mu planes are much better in train mode than tanks. Because they give you all the flexibility. You can actually scout a little bit. And you can, you can get enemies exactly where they are. And most of the time it's behind the train anyway. So it's not even that hard to find them. Okay. Yeah, we have the train. You can see that the train circle is blue. This is going to be a very close one. If you ever intend on winning as an attacker, it will always be close, by the way. <laughs> it will always be close. Alright. Alright. Let's bomb and... Ah, damn it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess we dealt enough damage to the enemies. We kept the point a couple of times. How, oh my god, the enemies don't even have rally points. They have two dudes with with engineer points. And one of them built a machine gun nest. And the other one didn't build a rally because otherwise he would have more ticks. So, yeah, you see how ridiculously easy it is to defend. <laughs> we are, we are working our ass off over here. And the enemies are just doing basic, basic cannon fodder strategies and it works. Alright, apparently we have a tiger, and the tiger is showing the Soviets the direction back to Moscow. Now, at least our APC can't be blown up by the grey zone. <laughs> That's, yeah, like APCs are the absolute king here. And this time we didn't get PTRS, very nice, very nice. Oh my god. And since our team is pushing forward, it's actually make it actually makes sense to keep pushing forward. Oh my god. I hope that's not a machine gun nest from a tank over there, because that would mean instant death again. Oh nice, we oh we I didn't even see that we reached the central point. And since I didn't even notice we got any respawn tickets. I, yeah, I guess we didn't get any. Yeah, that can also happen. You only get 50 respawn tickets because the game is the game mode is stupid, as I said, completely. 
from front to beginning as the train itself. At least we already reached almost the end, so we can we have a chance at winning. Wow. All right. Now yeah, we have to use we have we have to keep our APC. <laughs> we have to keep it up to make oh my fucking god. To uh okay. All right, no spawn support. Okay. So, this is going to be an absolute nail biter. Now what can we do? Taking tanks won't work since there's this giant hill part. We just have to, to keep pushing infantry. We could theoretically also take a plane to, to kill those Soviets. But I don't know how supportive my team is going to be regarding pushing over the hill. So, and there's a Soviet tank. And this is a, this is an extremely, ah, by the way, tanks are also much better for defenders, since they just need to position themselves next to the, behind, the, next to the tracks, and just shell the tracks. As an attacker, you have to be much more dynamic. But, nice, we got it. We're exactly in the position we want to be, having the train and sitting on this back part of the train and just spraying away all the defenders that possibly would come to us. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, if you if you strategize very well and you think about everything that can go wrong, you might view the situation worse than it actually is. And if you actually do playing well, usually you will be constantly surprised that you're winning, although you could be losing. And that's said that that's exactly what's going on right now. I just looked at all the situations that could go wrong or right and in the process of doing so we were pushing forward <laughs> very nice surprise okay now we have the yeah this plane can blow up everything all right one hit is enough he lost his tail yeah we got our 37 millimeter cannon Meaning we can blow up everything, even ta even IS tanks. So let's go. Let's go. All right. The the IL-10 died. Wow, the strongest Soviet plane died. By the way, it's ridiculously well armored. The fact that we touched it twice and it died shows you how ridiculously strong these cannons are. <laughs> okay, we still have enough. So we, we yeah, we just need to keep on strafing. And not letting the enemies recapture. And you see, alright, we are literally at the end part of the train. The enemies aren't even getting close. So we just bomb the point, be everything behind. Oh yes. Oh yeah, nice. And now the... Perfect. This is... This was a very deserved win. Because the Soviets... They didn't build rallies. Like, as a defender, they absolutely have to build rallies. I didn't even see APCs or stuff like that. Yeah, these these defenders were lazy. They knew that train mode on defense is literally easy life. <laughs> but, yep, we really worked overtime to get this win and we got it. Okay, let me know what you think and what your strategies are. My personal secret strategy to train mode is always leaving it and not playing it. This was like the first time. This was possibly one of two games I did in the last 12 months on this mode. And the other game was because I was in a stack and other people wanted to play too. So yes. Okay. Until next time. Goodbye.